Well, hello and welcome to McBride's Bricks. Yes, it's October and Halloween is just around the corner. So we're going to take a look at some of the Lego spooky and Halloween sets from the past and from the present. And we're going to start with a very cool little set with Dracula and a bat. Yes, and I've even painted my nails to match. So here goes. I actually got this set on eBay because it's from 2016. And as you can see, the box is a little bit battered, but the content should be fine. And there's a little a comic strip in the back, which is a little bit strange. I don't think he's going to sing or whistle for us. But let's get the box open and get building to see what it is like. Okay, let's start with the bat. And we've got little claws for feet. Whoops. And lots of hooks. I think there'll be a few movable parts here. The first, oh, the little horn pieces are being used for fangs. <laughs> Bit fiddly to get in, there we go. And two white fangs. They're such versatile little pieces, aren't they? And the little cheese slopes for his, e his or her ears. There we go, that's the body of the bat. And now let's get the wings sorted out here. There we go, there's our wings, they click on to both sides and it's a super little build with really movable wings, you can flap away there, I love that. Now let's go to the main part of the build, the vampire himself. When I think of vampires I always think of Count Dracula, he must be the most famous vampire ever written about. And he was actually written by an Irish author, Bram Stoker, back in the 1800s I think. Now, just a little bit of trivia for you there. Now let's get this. Which part of it is this? I'm not quite sure. Oh, it might be his cape. I think that's a cape at the back, is it? That kind of billows out onto the floor. No. I think it is. Now let's set that aside. For the next bit, and we have got the little claws for feet too. Oh, the vampire and the bat of matching feet. <laughs> and now his little legs that start off skinny and then go up. These are built very like the brickheads, and the brickheads I don't think came out until a year after this in 2017. I'd say this maybe was a precursor or a forerunner to the brickheads. Oh, that is brilliant. That's his feet inside the cape. And let's build up the sides here. Oh, I love the colours as well. He's got like a pale purple lilac cummerbund and then a darker purple waistcoat. And the white bit at the front, I'm not quite sure what's going to go on there. Oh, and a lovely big high collar around his neck. And more little cheese slope fingers. Oh, it's a bow tie. Brilliant. And it matches his waistcoat. And a fabulous ruffle shirt. And a nice dress shirt. Very fancy. And now we've got little sockets for these ball joints. And we have claw <laughs> claws for hands. They're a little bit strange looking, but they're actually, they work really, really well. And they're movable too, which is good. is his, I think the next one working up, it's going to be his mouth and you can just see the little bit of red in there inside the vampire's mouth and his teeth, two fangs. And another little bit of red that will be hidden, I think. I like the way the, the back, I think that's his hair and it's it gives it lots of very sleek, shiny texture. 
to the back of his head. The brickheads have got so good over the years. This, is, this I think is one of the first ones, not officially, but it's, it's built a similar way. And now the detail they put into them is amazing. And his pointy long pointy nose and a few outward facing studs here. Now, and more red. And what are the little hooks for at the front of his face? Let me see. Ah, oh, pointy ears as well. <laughs> oh, I love it. Ah, uh, for his eyebrows, and we'll point them up so he looks a little bit evil. Vampires are always thought to be evil. Oops, get that on again. Nice. That's looking more like him. Oh, I like this. A streak of white in his hair as well. Just to finish the look. Uh, let's get his head on. That is a very cool Halloween build for our first Halloween build this year. I love it. So much character in it. Lots of personality. Now, and you can actually, his little bat can sit on his hand. Oops, I took his hand apart there, put that on, and I lost the bat's foot, sorry. Whoops, that's just back together and we'd sit in your head. These are probably related because obviously the vampire turns into a bat. And vice versa. There you go. That's our first Halloween build of 2020. If you like it, please do give us a thumbs up. And if you want to see more spooky Halloween builds, please do subscribe. Bye for now.